Hey y'all, I'm back again. This is my second attempt at this video for this journal. I um, tried doing it the other night and halfway through it, even though I had my phone on do not disturb, um, got one of those robo calls and it cut it off. So I kind of gave up for the night. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I still have a bit of that cough from that crud. But feeling much better. I apologize for my coughing. But um I'm not starting over again. <laughs> Just not. I'm trying I've got too many things to get done. But um this journal is so cute. I absolutely love it. This story is adorable. Um it's uh anyway, I'm gonna try not to go on and on because I don't want you to you know be here for half an hour while I you know, just moon over this book because I love it. Um, it's eight and a half by eight and three quarters. There's four signatures, um, 84 pages times two. That gives you 168 spaces, and that includes the story and then, like, the Project Life cards and things like that, or Project Life sleeves and things like that that are in here. Put my little tie on it, and these are all, these are all either quilt or feed sack fabrics on this one. Really, really cute. Love the way that one turned out. Um, I, was, I love doing that. I know y'all, I hope y'all don't get sick of the same old things, but um, I am doing some different stuff as well. But anyway, this one, this one just turned out so cute. I love it. This is a newer book. It's not vintage. I think it was 2012, 2013. I picked it up at a thrift store. I just fell in love with it. So I did a little bit different charm. I added some ribbon to this charm. I hope you can see it. Um, so it's got this really pretty big bead on it. Some other little beads. Buttons. Uh, these are some buttons that I am, um, I received in uh, Happy Mail from one of my customers. She sends me the just most awesome things. Some beads I tied down to the bottom that I made on the ribbon. Um, this was just a bead that I, I wire. I did the wiring on it and I attached it down at the bottom of that one. Has a little uh, teapot charm on here and a key. Just really cute, a uh, little heart down there. I like the way this turned out. I kind of like, I like the ribbon with the twine and all the little good, good stuff uh, together on the charm. I think it's cute. So, so you open this up, this book lays, uh, lays pretty flat. I like the way it lays. I didn't, there's a lot of extra things in here, but um, it still doesn't, you know, it's not too bulky and there's a lot of room to grow. Really cute, cute, cute illustrations. And if I start telling you the whole story and I start really going crazy over it, it might be half an hour long video. So anyway, um, added some little vintage lace. This also came from a customer. Another customer sent me some of that. And, uh, this little bear, he's hungry, just letting you know, and he smells cookies. So, um, put a pocket here and added a buddy, butterfly that I fussy cut out. And there's um, some journaling cards in here, an envelope, a little tag. I'm gonna try not to rush. I kind of rushed through my last video because I'm just trying to get things done. Just a little tag there. And this, this one I did similar to the last few journals I've done where I made, left you smaller pages because of the size of this and then I extended some pages. And I just think it's neat, keeps it from being so bulky, but you can still go back and like you can just, you can staple an envelope here or you can glue an extension to the page. Um, you know, you can make tap, you can do whatever you want. Just the possibilities are endless. That's a little journaling card. This is a vintage printable. A little uh, tuck pocket here. There's a couple of collage tags in here that I made using some French hymnal, uh, vintage ledger, little images from books. And then on the back, I used that straw paper from Rachel over at Roxy Creations. I thought they were cute. So he sees cookies and another bear. Uh, this I found, uh, there were some tea towels that I found at my, my one of my favorite stores that I shop here. 
And then I printed a little image from Graphics Fairy that says you're invited to a tea party. I thought it was really cute. That went really well in here. Um, there's the stuffed bear that the, little, that the little bear sees, you know, having the tea party. So um, he's talking to the little bear, asking him if he can have a cook, cookie, but, you know, that's a stuffed bear. Anyway, here's another, um, another one of my... Uh, collage uh, journaling cards or card stock it's uh, stitched extended pages he just not the bear fell over of course because he's stu uh, stuffed bear this is just the, the cutest little book if you get this you're just gonna absolutely adore it when you read it um, so I added one of my double sided paper clips here the other side has a tag in it so on this side you know you get the little girl and the little fabric and then on this side is a pocket with a tag and um this little cluster on this side and it will definitely hold things in here for you really cute these are so much fun to make i need to make more but i thought that one went really well in here with the little girl pushing the baby in the stroller and the little girl with her coming to the tea party. <laughs> she has no idea that that's a real bear in the beginning. So some of the uh, dictionary page, scrapbook paper. Um, I thought this was really cute since she's doing a little party. I had some scrapbook paper that had these little party hats on it. Another one of those sleeves, the Project Life sleeves. Uh, and I stuck some little goodies in there. I'm gonna tag that I made. This is the envelope that's stitched in. Some little butterflies. Opens up on this side and there's some little journaling cards and a little, some little goodies in there. It's the graph paper with the washi. Love this washi Wednesday washi with all the little kids playing in different little scenes. Really cute. Another little pocket here. Uh, some other little cards, and this one is a um, that little girl and her having her tea party with her dolls. Just stuck a little scrap piece here with a bird and stapled them. I did add my um, advent added vintage buttons to the signatures, and this is uh, bound in with a white wax linen thread. Another pocket, some other little journaling cards, another um, collage tag. I just, I love this book. I love how it turned out. It's another one of those um, that I just would love to keep. <laughs> uh, there's some vintage little flashcards in here, vintage library card, uh, and then just some journaling cards that I had in my stash. Really cute little uh, birthday party paper or party paper. Made a pocket here. And a little dictionary page. Just some green card stock. Um, added a little extension there with that floral piece. So here she is, she's taking him in the house because he smells and she thinks he needs a bath. So she gives him a bath. So this this little bear has to pretend like, you know, he's not alive. He has to pretend like he's a stuffed bear. Look at that look on his face. He don't look real happy, does he? <laughs> but he wanted cookies. <laughs> anyway, this is just precious. I think this would be this would be a great um a great journal for a little girl um to document birthday parties or just you know, just a little girl journal, or just if you like that kind of stuff like I do. I just think it's precious. I love it. It's another, um, more Project Life and little cards and a little, um, this is a little tea envelope. And then, uh, this is one of those vintage, um, little pieces that I found when I was in Texas that are like, they're almost like little coasters, so it's got twinkle, twinkle, little star on the back. And these were printed in 1947. And I just love it. It's almost, it almost feels laminated, but it's not like the lamination that we know today. 
Um, but I just thought that would be cute in here. Just all kinds of fun stuff. And this, this store is just, it's just precious. So, um, more little goodies I uh, put in here. And I just washi taped the top of these just so they wouldn't come out um, for now. Just cute. I just love it. Look, she put ponytails. <laughs> oh, he keeps saying, it says, but he did want cookies. It's like he keeps reminding himself he wants cookies. This is just a little piece I stapled in for a tuck. And then um, these are vintage pieces here. This is a little vintage flash card. And this is from the Sorry Game. And then these are newer little Project Life cards. Another pocket here. Um, some of this, there's a couple of these pieces that are pockets are Maggie Holmes paper, which I just absolutely adore her papers. They have that, they have those, the coloring and the, um, Images that just are a little more vintage on the vintagey side. So now she's spraying them with some perfume. <laughs> He's not fancy enough, she says. You're not, you gotta be fancy for the tea party. So she dresses him up. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. And another pocket here. Another little tuck spot here and a little um, crochet flower on a butterfly. Some other little pieces of uh, journaling cards. This one says little moments. These are all really cute cards and stuff. Um, made a little pocket here. I love polka dots, love this polka dot paper. And a little tag with some twine and one of Phaedra's little handmade uh, crochet flowers that, you know, I purchased a bunch of those from her. And I'm using them in my projects. Um, these projects and my own projects. Another pocket, vintage flash card, layaway card, some index cards for journaling. Um, I think he. Oh, uh, so funny. Let's see, he finally realizes he's a real bear. So these are some other flash cards, um, not vintage, but stuck them in there. Some little washi, washi label. Anyway, then they, after she gets over the initial shock of him being a real bear, they start playing together. It's just so cute. Anyway, I love this. And then here I made a, um, I took some acetate and made a clear pocket here so you could put something down in there. And then another piece of that uh, tea towel and I, I took a bunch of goodies in here. Um, some scraps left over from the paper and then there were some pages out of this paper line that I think it was, a maybe it was another one, that I fussy cut. I thought this might be pretty in there somewhere. And uh, another little book page from another book. There's just a ton of extra stuff tucked in um, tucked in the pockets and stuff for you to use. And uh, this one will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, but the little bunny rabbit and the little blue bird. Just, um, I just adore these. I really do. In case you didn't know, um, <laughs> I only say it a gazillion times. So back here, I just put a little, uh, a little circle and a heart and a little scrap and a, a little butterfly back here just to kind of cover up the skew. Um, so that it just looks, I don't know, it kind of, I don't, that bothers me for some reason. I just like to cover that up. I did leave it here. I started to put something here, but I just, I kind of love the, I think this, it's, this is just so cute. I just didn't want to mess with it. Um, and I didn't put the buttons on the spine because I think this, this book is a little bit larger and I like that it lays really flat. Um, you know, but if you, if you happen to purchase it and you want me to tie you some buttons on the spine, I'll gladly do that. You just let me know. And, uh, thank you guys for watching and being patient. Hey, I'm only at 14, 14 and a half minutes. Yay. I thought it was going to be an hour because I just adore this. And then, um, I did, there's another little package of goodies here and some of my 
fabric washi that I made, and then a bundle of different laces, some vintage, some not, some flowers, one of my homemade flowers, um, some fabrics, just some fun stuff that I thought went really well with this particular journal and that you might have fun using. Um, there's a, there's a, there it is, yeah. This is a vintage linen in here with the embroidery on it. And then I gave you a whole nother one of these um, that comes with this, a whole nother one of these napkins and then the pieces that were left over from what I used in it. So just fun stuff. Um, I thought maybe the pom-pom trim might look cute here if you want that. You can add that to it. Anyway, um, one of my little paper clip, just a little paper clip charm, library card, fun stuff for you to play with that comes with it. So anyway, um, thank you guys again for um, hanging with me and supporting me and leaving... Um, lovely comments i i just I appreciate each and every one of you and i'm so grateful and so thankful for you and um i hope you love this as much as i do uh i'll be back again um i've got a haul and a happy meal video that's going to require you getting a snack because it's going to be a long one and um i'm also i'm going to do a flip through of my mother goose journal that i made for my new baby granddaughter that's coming in January and then this is another I'll give you a sneak peek this is another project I'm working on this is custom this is a custom cover that someone asked me to do so I started doing a little bit of collage and I think it came out super cute I haven't added the fabric and stuff to it yet but I'm gonna um I'm doing a couple more of these because I just loved it so that was a little sneak peek of that and uh Again, I love you guys and I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And I hope you're having a great day. See you soon. Bye.